Hey, what's going on all you reality deniers? It's your favorite shill here. Let's take a look at what some of my favorite comments today had to say. JL2021, Better Business Bureau is, a much, is as much of a joke as Yelp. They create an environment for potential negative reviews and charge businesses to obfuscate or remove the negative reviews. Damn, that's, that's a lot of claims there, buddy. Um, you know, the environment is created so that they can get potential negative and positive reviews, right? It's not all cupcakes and rainbows, Snowflake. Nalk, um, you suck at bowling. Uh, what a strange hill to die on. Um, sure, bud. Sure. Let's talk about that in about six weeks from now. When you're still locked out of your computer share account. 1v1 me new. Why would you not DRS? Charlie, I love your vids, but the anti-DRS talk scares me. Uh, you clearly don't even know what DRS means, so please go back to sleep. Wizard in remission. Shilly me timbers. I think you need to look up the word shill. I'm trying to help you, but you're in denial and in a state of uh, basically <laughs> you're acting like a little child. Uh, JL2021 again, tortured logic in this video. Uh, yeah, just like your first comment, buddy, and no example provided. Good job. Joe C. Dr. Trimbath or, oh God, Dr. Trimbath or RC tweets is not the reason. Yes, it is. Don't lie. You're in denial. You're trying to justify your unintelligent decision to move forward without educating yourself about computer share first. You assumed, A, because GameStop uses computer share, that means they must be legit. Incorrect. That's tortured logic. JL2021, by the way. And lastly, GART76. Sorry, you're not giving any real argument against CS or Suzanne. Why would I give an argument against Suzanne? She's irrelevant. That's what you don't understand. Stop idolizing people that are irrelevant to the situation. Um, so yeah, all these people have very low IQs apparently, and I can't wait to uh, hear if any of them admit that they were wrong. That won't ever happen. It seems like I'm the only one that does that around here. So let's have a little fun real quick. So to all the naysaying deniers, why would the CEO of uh, Computer Share just sell a bunch of its uh, shares to God knows who? Why would that? Why would they do that on the seventh of September? Isn't that weird? Interesting. I guess that's not relevant, is it? Computer Share pros sole access to certain companies and their stock plans. That's good. No additional fees. Perfect. Easy to access. Help and support. Awesome. Cons: very high transaction fees. Okay, better than payment for order flow. Limited investment options. Not like that matters. We're all in one stock anyway. Variable transaction fees determined by the holding company. Don't like that. Not for making frequent trades. Day trading sucks anyway. Nothing wrong there. Avoid at all costs. Written on 2721. Only one review written, so again, take it with a grain of salt. However, I should have looked up the online reviews to manage my expectations before reaching out to them for support. This is exactly what the whole premise of this video is for. Just do the research. Don't get mad at me. The guy doing the research for your lazy ass. Just do it yourself. I'm not going to wipe your ass for you anymore after this video, by the way. And you're on your own. So if you get left with a bag because you couldn't be patient enough because you fell for a dumbass Reddit post with no backing, just remember, the shill tried to help you. Business transparency. Claim their trust pilot profile, April 2021. Verified additional company details. Um, and by the way, according to... Um, let me Actually, let me get the website real quick just so we all have it. Uh, do, 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 do. It's uh, trustpilot.com. And again, I've looked at several uh, review sites, not just one. So if you're going to go and cling to that excuse, it won't work because there's more than this. Again, basically, just look up stuff before you jump into it, especially in a lifetime chance. How dumb would you feel if you blew this opportunity because you fell for this shit? Probably pretty, pretty bad. I'm not worried at all because I'm sticking to the original plan. I have nothing to worry about. Fidelity is in a much better financial situation than computer share. So... Anyways, business transparency again. Uh, claiming a profile allows the company to do things like reply to reviews, invite customers to, uh, to write reviews, and more. Um, haven't replied to any negative reviews in the past 12 months. Eh, that is what it is. Okay, so reviews over time. So clearly, not all reviews are negative. Uh, random guy from the first slide that has no intellect. Um, so the DD, quote unquote DD, that I've been getting as an you know argument, which it's not an argument, um, it was written slightly before the acquisition announcement of Wells Fargo, which came on 321. 
right after that, their credit rating got downgraded, but then it got upgraded again, but then it got downgraded again, and now it got upgraded again. So it seems to be a little bit of confusion as far as the rating. Not a big deal. A uh, merger was announced completed um, in August, <laughs> and then reviews started going down. So take that for what it's worth. Um, let's see, what else? Wells Fargo and Company today announced that it has entered into a definitive agreement to sell its corporate trust services, CTS business, to computer share. The transaction is expected to close in the second half of 2021, as we just saw, subject to customary closing conditions. Maybe, pause to take a little men mental breather for a second. Oh, man, all that two minutes of work got me real tired. Um, maybe Dr. Trimbrath should do a little more research before promoting a company that she assumes to still be the same. Because you know very well that the enemy knows very well that Dr. Trimbrath is talking to retail. So <laughs> this is war, people. Keep your eyes and your ears open. While I respect Dr. Trimbrath, I have nothing against her. She is irrelevant to this movement. I don't give a shit if she tells me to do anything. I'm not going to listen to her without looking into it first, which is the point I'm trying to make. So there's that. Moving on. Um, yeah, so all of you Reddit people who claim to think that you're some kind of uh, researching gods over there, you know, your, your whole subreddit, your whole super strong subreddit has fallen to bits and pieces of dog shit because none of you are willing to look into anything anymore. You see a Reddit post with awards and your smooth brain gets attracted to it like a mosquito to a light zapper or a bug zapper. So please calm down. You're all children. You're all impatient. I'm doing the work you should have done for you, and you're talking shit. That's not very nice. Last slide. Uh, what's all this talk I hear about DTC and the name being taken out of the DTC? Did, does anyone even look into anything anymore? I mean, come on, people. I've been told, why are you against DRS? Don't you want to have the certificate in your name? That's literally the opposite of what DRS means. I mean, this is ridiculous. I cannot wait to read the more shill comments because I know they're about to come from the people that are going to deny this. That, oh my God, this guy's just wrong. There's no reason to look into all this stuff because all this stuff that I was just presented, there's no way any of that can be true. He made it all up. Whatever you want to call it, man, just remember, at the end of the day, they don't care about your feelings. Okay? They don't. And they're not ever going to. So if you think you found some magical unicorn play that's going to cause Moas to come faster, you're just an impatient bitch. Calm down, Susan. To my subs, I love all of you. Sorry, I had to have a little fun with this one. No more computer share talk. Done enough work for these morons. So back to reality. Uh, stay the course. Eyes on the horizon. Let's go.